Now, when we got to India, um, we had to get on a train with a boat came to Bombay, which is Mumbai now, and uh, and it, the train crossed India, and it was a two and a half day train ride in this dirty train across India, and the we we found out that. When we landed, we found out that the train would leave at six o'clock that night. And so what we decided to do that was, uh, we got off the boat, finally got through customs. There were only a couple of hours before the train was gonna leave. And we didn't have time to buy hardly any food. And so we had to go on a starvation diet for about two and a half days across India and uh, we got we had uh, a couple of chocolate bars we had a few uh, cookies and that was about it for two and a half days and a few bottles of water we had so um, uh, when we got to calcutta we were so glad to see calcutta uh, that we hoped we could uh, get a decent meal and uh, there we we uh, joined the, or at least lived in the Salvation Army hostel, uh, and... Uh, and you used to write me letters, and you yeah. used to tell, so he wrote letters, I here I was back in Kansas with this baby and this two-year-old that was <laughs> really hard to handle, and um, he'd tell me, it's not bad here, it's, you know, the food's pretty good. Um, he told me all positive things about Calcutta, which it's pretty hard to find Cal <laughs> too many <laughs> happy things about Calcutta, but anyway, he wanted me to come. <laughs> yeah, and uh, one, one interesting thing, here, here's a story that's of interest. Um, we went to the, or at least I had been written to the Bible Society. We decided we were gonna sell Gospels of Mark, John, the Mark, Luke, Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. We were gonna sell these four Gospels in different languages, in English, Bengali, Hindi, and Urdu. Those are the four la major languages in, in Calcutta. And so we had ordered, uh, uh, I guess uh, I, I had ordered 80,000 Gospels of Mark, uh, I mean Gospel portions to sell. And uh, when I went to the Bible Society to say, hey, we're here and we want to pick them up, he said, well, they're not ready yet. And I said, well, we're only here for three months. We can't wait. And he said, well, it'll be at least two more weeks before we'll get them, or three weeks. And in India, if they say two weeks, it'll probably be four. And so I thought, what in the world are we going to do? And I said, well, how many others do you have in stock? And he said, we've got 20,000. So I said, okay, I want to buy the 20,000. And he said, you're crazy. He said, that, that would be 100,000 that you have to try and sell. And so I said, he said, nobody's ever done that before, to sell 100,000 in three months. Okay, so we, we bought the extra 20,000, uh, which made a total of 100,000 we had committed to. And we had, we had 90 days to sell 100,000. So we had to sell over a thousand every day for 90 days. Now, there were, f there were four of us, no, five of us men who were out on the streets working. Um, and uh, so each one had to sell at least 200, 250 a day, which was a, a major thing. Well, we, we got out. The first day we sold, between the five of us we sold, uh, about 90 and we thought this is this is disaster and the second day we sold I think 105 and we rec realized that this was absolutely impossible we would never we'd be there for 10 years to try and sell a hundred thousand and so uh, the third day we had a an emergency prayer meeting and we just got down on our knees and said God you have to do something uh, and because we're in a mess and we don't know how to get out of it. And uh, so we want you to intervene. Uh, and uh, so we went out all excited that God was going to do something this day. And at six o'clock at night, we met under a street light. I remember meeting there 
and we added up what we'd sold and we'd sold about 102 or something. And, and we said, okay, we are not going to give up. And it was the determination of everybody in that group. We said, we're going back and we don't care if we have to stay all night. We're going to stay until we sell 1,000. And about nine o'clock at night, it started. And all of a sudden, there were hundreds of people asking us for these. And by the time we walked in the door at, uh, I think, 10 or 11 o'clock at night, we had sold over... Uh, well over a thousand. I can't remember what the num exact number was, but about 1,100, I think, that we had sold. And it was like the floodgates just were opened all of a sudden. And God in, uh, saw our faith, saw our determination, and said, okay, I'm going to make it happen. And it was a God thing. It wasn't uh, because we were smart or we changed our tactics or because we knew the language. We didn't. Uh, and uh, and then every day for the next 90 days, we sold over a thousand uh, Gospels. And in each one was a, an offer of a correspondence course on the Gospel of Mark. And it was, a, it was a, uh, an evangelism of a study. And, uh, and we saw in that three months, 8,000 8, people write in and ask to study the course. And then we, after they completed the course, we asked them to come to a meeting that we held in the downtown area of Calcutta. And uh, they, we had this meeting in the YMCA, I think it was. So we set up the chairs, a hundred chairs, and uh, more people kept coming. So we set up another hundred chairs and, uh, and then more people kept coming. And so they were all standing around the the edge of the room and these were all hindus and muslims these these weren't believers or anything these were people who had bought a gospel out on the uh on the streets one of them was a man by the name of sunil chakravati and sunil uh came to the i remember meeting him and he said i bought this book which was the gospel of mark and it had a bright red color and and it had the good news by Mark, and he thought it said the good news by Marx, and so he thought it was a communist book. It's the only reason he bought it, and 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 he uh, read the Gospel of Mark and was absolutely transformed by it. He came to know Christ, uh, and he said, "I want to follow the Jesus, and I want to serve Jesus, and I want to." live for Jesus in Calcutta. And so uh, we poured into him as much as we could during the three months we were there. And uh, he connected with another missionary after that. And then he went into full-time missionary service and started churches in Calcutta. And so, you know, the fruit of, of that uh, work, it was very dangerous work. We were, when we were out among the crowds every day, uh, there are all kinds of uh, people. I remember one uh, man shouted out when we were selling and there were a crowd of people around. There were crowds of people around us all the time. And we would give out the books and let them look at it uh, before they paid us for it. And so, we, were, you know, you might have 25 or 30 books out at the time and people looking at them, trying to decide. And just as the crowd were looking at them, one guy shouted out, your Jesus is, uh, was born from an unmarried woman. And, uh, and uh, the crowd started to turn against us and handed all back the books. And, and, uh, and he started yelling at us and the crowd started to yell against us. And uh, so Ab Bauman and I just, took off. We left the books. We didn't worry about any there. We ran and jumped on a moving bus that came by just at that moment and we escaped the mob. Uh, so God protected us in wonderful ways and, and yet uh, we saw a, a mighty thing happen that had never happened in India before.